that was 90 minutes that felt like it was about nine minutes. A fast-moving, intensely combative debate for the vice presidential debate this year focused on complex, substantial issues of foreign policy as much as it focused on economic and social issues. Obviously, they did not hit everything still now over the two debates. For example, we have had no discussion at all of immigration. There's still ground to be covered that neither of the candidates, none of the candidates have covered thus far. But tonight was an intensely kinetic night. Frequent interruptions, very active moderating from Martha Raddatz of ABC News, exasperated interjections from both sides, frequently both men talking over one another, but also interjecting sidebar statements into each other's comments throughout. Uh, could not have been a stronger contrast from, from last week. Chris Matthews is at Center College in Danville, Kentucky. Chris, what's your reaction? Well, here's the... Uh the official scorekeeping. <laughs> I went through each one of the topics that they discussed, these two guys, and it was a great debate. First of all, Martha Raddatz was wonderful. A couple points. I think the way I'm scoring it, and I hope this is uh, clear, on Benghazi, I give that to Ryan. On economics, I give it a draw. On Medicare, all Biden. On taxes, fairness, all Biden. On Afghanistan, another draw. On Syria, another draw. Abortion, all Biden. He wins three big ones, to another one. On the closing, I draw that even. They both did closing. On the points, clearly, oh, Biden, a clear victory for Joe Biden, looking at the key issues people care about. They don't focus much on Syria or in Afghanistan that much. They do focus a lot on Medicare. They do focus a lot on tax fairness. They do focus a lot on abortion rights. And on the big issues that matter to the people, clear victory for Joe Biden, and that's why I give it to him. He did what he had to do. Chris, I thought it ended up being intensely important that Martha Raddatz, so well versed on foreign policy issues, was moderating this and that she knew the follow-up questions to ask and that she asked so many questions right. on foreign policy. Obviously, that is a stronger suit for Joe Biden than it is for Paul Ryan. I agree with you. There were times when Paul Ryan was holding his own. I would score it differently. I felt like he, there were times when he felt like he was well in over his head, particularly when he had no idea how to explain what was wrong with the plan to leave Afghanistan right. in 2014 which he said was also his plan. Uh, but I think you're right to break Just down. Just allow me a second here. Please. I want to I really emphasize what, how I weight these things. I know everybody's watching tonight. There may be 40 million, maybe 50 million people watching tonight, especially on this network. I'm glad they're here. But I think there's issues people are listening for for particular reasons that affect their families. Medicare, anyone 65 or near it or older certainly is focusing intently on that. And they heard one guy defend it, one guy talk about this razzle-dazzle uh, radical change. On taxes, it's very hard to defend the very rich when you start talking about people who make m millions of dollars. I think Joe Biden nailed that one. Abortion, I thought that Ryan did a very heartfelt thing, but what he said was, I'm for outlawing abortion in a country of this diversity. He said that. A lot of people listening tonight who are not of the Roman Catholic faith, of perhaps the conservative Roman Catholic faith, faith, in fact, have a particular right-wing view about all kinds of social issues, will say, wait a minute here, are you telling me you're going to take away my right to make this decision myself? You're going to take it away from my daughter because you have a point of view? This is America. This is an old Spain. You don't tell people what you can't do because of your, your church views. You don't do that. I thought Joe handled it exactly the way, well, a lot of people would have handled it. I think that's going to hit home with people tonight, that abortion answer. And I tell you, the big three, taxes, Medicare, and abortion, one for Biden tonight. I weight them heavily more than I do Syria and some of these other issues and Benghazi. I think that's why he won tonight. Well, I was, I was tonight waiting to hear on some clarity on Afghanistan, and I thought the lack of it on the Republican side uh, was just